More than likely by now, you already know this song and dance. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga is just one of those childhood staples for so many people. And that's why me and my friend Austin have been streaming through the game over the past few months. If you ever want to join us over there, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash cudad116. But as I've said before, our streaming is very inconsistent. But I do try to give you guys a few days notice on the community page here and also on my Instagram page. And yeah, I have an Instagram page where I upload some clips and memes. If you want to go check it out, you can. By now, we have finished half of this game, having completed the entire prequel trilogy. And now it's time to jump into the original trilogy. So let's see what's waiting for us here in this classic Star Wars era in LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, A New Hope. Episode okay. 4. Let's go for it. Before we get started, though, I, I feel like it's been enough videos, and enough people know about this secret, but I'm going to show it off anyways. Alright. Okay, so follow me over here. Yeah. So obviously we're inside the Mos Eisley Cantina, and we've got right. the, the band playing over here, right? Right, of course. So here's the thing. In the options menu, if you go to the music option mm. and disable the music, if we come back over... Oh, no way! Um, the, the band is not playing anymore. Huh. That is so cool. It's, it's just a little fun Easter egg, but you know, it's it's still like I said, it's fun. We like to I have fun. I had no idea here. about that. That was so neat. Yeah, there's not really not a whole lot of um, I don't know. There's still Easter eggs in video games. In fact, I'd argue Easter eggs are bigger than ever in video games. Right. But yeah. um, I don't know. They 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 don't feel as secret, or they're like way more obvious you don't have to go looking for them anyways let's get into a new hope oh boy this is going to be a long one i can feel it and i've already got a bot in the chat trying to um yeah do oh boy i love growing as an entertainer on the internet hello we've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty extended. see this right here this is what happens whenever you don't contact them back about your car's extended warranty <laughs> The government comes looking for you. See, the ship's broken. You should have gotten that warranty, bud. Like, come on. Oh, I know. We should have sprung for the extra insurance, R2. Archangel, Where are all those illegal criminals at pressing discs? <laughs> Ubisoft president said that buying a game doesn't mean you own it, so that means pirating isn't stealing. That's true, by the way. He said that. He said the quiet part out loud. I don't know what it just... More legal discs. Absolutely. Hey, look at that. It's all the money that the company's losing from us illegally downloading <laughs> the game. Right? Look at that, it's pocket change. Amazing. Just kidding, big companies don't lose a cent. Pirating is always the morally correct thing to do. Yo ho ho and a bottle of malware, my guy. Right. The best part is, I had a friend in college, I'm sure he doesn't watch these videos, but I'm gonna send this clip to him. Right. But I had a friend in college who I gave such a hard time because he had like pirated copies of some movie. I don't even remember what it was. Right. And in a kind of joking way, but I gave him so much grief about it because that's whenever I did actually kind of feel like, ah, oh, piracy is not the right thing to do. And now, well, let's just say my feelings aren't the same. <laughs> but hold on, let me get a stylish sun hat real quick. Right, of course. Heck yeah. Absolutely. You want to come try and get one? Absolutely, I do. Hey, ah, oh, come on! I wanted to be a fed Vader's, too. Dang. Vader is working for Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It makes sense. His color scheme is black and red. Absolutely, we oh, cracked it, boys. That's true. We cracked that's it. true. Come on, guys! Big streaming services after us. We gotta deal with them. Oh, oh good. They're going with us. Surely they will carry on with us into the next room. Our allies. Oh, absolutely, they will. They definitely won't abandon us. Boy, it would have been a smart design if we had, like, actually installed an elevator into this very vertical room instead of having to use your a gun's grappling hook just to get up to the second floor. I mean, yes, but, you know, given that we're all about conserving money here at Piracy Inc., we thought we can save money on elevator costs. We just have grappling hooks. Oh, shoot, it's Netflix's CEO. Stop auto-targeting Vader and shoot the barrel, dadgummit. I learned this one from the IRA. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, Austin, another cool yep. thing about this game. You see that little grape um, yeah. icon on the box there? So you know that like, you gotta find three of those in a level, in this level, and that's how you get the mini kit, right? For the longest time, 
I did not know where those grapes came from. And I think I heard where they came from. And it's a really weird source. Please enlighten me. So before Traveler's Tales worked on, you know, the Lego games, which is how they're really big and known for now, one of the games they worked on anyway. originally was like a Muppets kart racing game. Like a Mario Kart ripoff, but it was like the Muppets or Muppet Babies or something like that. Huh. And that grape was one of the items you could get in the game. <laughs> yeah, weird little factoid. <laughs> Looks like Netflix has a stranglehold on people trying to share their accounts. All right, the droids are here. Let's go get them. How did how did they end up on different sides of this force field? Okay, IGD2, I need you to. No, I know it. I know it has malware on it. I need you to run this program, however. This is the only way I can play War for Cybertron. She just dumped her illegal files and left. Oh, it's the man, the myth, the legend himself. It's Rebel Friend. I'm still shocked. Lego has never made like an official Lego Friend figure. You know that would sell so well. It really would. All right, 3PO, I'm gonna just grab you. It's like one of those claw games, except I hope he doesn't slip out. <laughs> The main difference between- oh, never mind. I was about to say the main difference between Star Wars and Star Trek is the guy wearing a red shirt survives, but as soon as I was Clearly about to not. say that, you just had to die. You just had to die. Let's see, what all can we open with R2? Oh. R2-D2 is like Tokyo drifting. Please, just, just <laughs> stick the thing in the thing and open the door. Oh, there's the beach troopers. Having Two a good bros time. bros chilling in a chilling hot tub. In a hot tub. The hidden LGBT agenda of LEGO Star Wars. Oh yeah, he's just a rebel friend. Nothing more Ooh. or less than that. Oh boy, I'm glad we found an escape pod with enough room for all four of us. Right. Surely. Totally. R2, where are you going? <laughs> R2, R2, wait a minute. R2, no, they helped us. I'm sure they will be very fairly given very fair trial for being criminals. I want to talk to the guy who made the sound effect for when you collect a gold brick. Yeah. That's got to be one of the most satisfying sounds in this game. Hmm, which droids will he pick? Maybe the ones that don't look like a bunch of cobbled together extra pieces. Oh, boo, we don't get the one droid who commits suicide. Boo. Nah, they couldn't depict that in a Lego game. <laughs> They're gonna have like the little R2-D2 claw with a pistol and put it to his dome. Wait, that's a male bantha. So welcome to Arrakis, Luke. I will show you around. <laughs> Everyone says that George Lucas ripped off Frank Herbert. No one wants to talk about the fact that he made the highly intelligent people of the desert. This. This very, very bad looking stereotype. <laughs> what a valuable resource like water. We should absolutely destroy these. What an amazing miracle of life here in the desert. Luke, you ever thought about the fact you are literally moisture farmers? All you do is you collect dew from the air. You're, you literally just set up a giant dehumidifier outside. Well, yeah. And meanwhile, this so what? this what do you faucet do? over this faucet over here that I just happened to come across randomly, it collects more water in a single afternoon than you will see in your entire lifetime. Shut up! That's not true. It's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Look, I can only hold off the Fremen for so long. Can you come up here and, like, set up the thumper so we can call the sandworm? There we go. That'll call a Sarlacc, and we can ride the Sarlacc across the desert now. What the heck is happening over there? No idea. Boy, I love that la I love, like, the just the little bit of lag we get from playing online. Right. It makes things interesting, the game, you know? The game from 2007 that can't handle any sort of latency. Here, let me, uh, drop out, let me try. Yeah, sure. One second. Dude, nice. I'm just literally him, Luke. Ryan Gosling. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Of course I of know Of course him. I know him. He's me. He's me. Luke, this is a spice crawler. Sorry, I mean sand crawler. Sometimes I forget what franchise I'm in. Ugh. Oh crap. <laughs> Nicely done, Let's go Dan. all the way back up. Luke, have you ever thought about the fact that Padme was just so much older than Anakin? And yet here I was, roughly around the same age. I looked like freaking Ewan McGregor. You think anyone could re realistically resist that? 
Realistically, do you think Anakin, the one from the movies, can canonically have sex? I don't think so. But it was oh. an incel from before incels were even a thing. Look, Ben, just don't start like another diss track rap about him, okay? Dear Luke Skywalker, I'm sorry that that man is your father. The next one's about Padme. Say, Padme, I heard you like him young. You better not ever go ride the slave one. Sorry, I don't like your modern art on the wall. I have to destroy it. Modern art? Luke, these are critical systems. Did you think I was just turning vowels back there for no reason? That was the Sandcrawler's engine. I just, like, undid every vent stream in here. This place is going to combust in a giant fiery explosion. Free my man, he did nothing wrong. The man in question. Jamie, go ahead and pull up a list of every crime R2-D2 has ever committed. To be fair, R2-D2 has committed some crimes, but not nearly as many as Chopper. Oh my gosh, Chopper is like wanted at Nuremberg for numerous offenses. R2, I need you to- oh my gosh, please, kill these Jawas. Summary execute these Jawas. Behead Sorry. Jawas, roundhouse kick a Jawa, slam dunk a Jawa into the curve. This ends the level when we come out of the Sandcrawler, correct? Uh, no, it does not. No, it does not, okay. I no, we've still got reason. another- no, we've got another stretch of desert to get through. A oh sizable one at that. Now, uh, Luke, we must watch out for quicksand. A very real danger. Surely something you will encounter all the time. Oh, yeah. At least that's what your childhood TV shows about Indiana Jones will have you believe. War, terrorism, starvation, human trafficking. Nothing compares to quicksand. You want to know the wild thing? What's that? There actually was, like, a, a documented case of, like, quicksand about maybe 15 minutes from where I live. No like way. Like, in the past month. <laughs> that's crazy. Because, I mean, that's the thing. Quicksand is real. Right. Um, but, like, it, I mean, it was on the beach. It, essentially, it's just, you know, when you step in mud and you have a hard time pulling your leg out. Right. But, like, this lady only sunk up to, like, maybe her, like, her, her knees or her waist. Mm. And when I was watching the news interview of the, like, the, um, the beach trooper, he was like, uh, yeah, you know, quicksand is definitely a thing that's real and happens. Uh, and if you do get stuck in it, it can be a little scary, but, uh, yeah, no, there's n absolutely no way it will kill you unless you're just the dumbest human being on the planet. Gosh, we are so freaking close to True Jedi. We are, we're right on the precipice. Please, oh, I knew it, double nice. score zone. Please, please, oh. Luke, get up here, because I don't know if I can make that jump. I cannot get up here. Drop it out, is... Luke. Alright. Drop out, you should drop out, now! Oh, that's exactly what I was worried of. Oh my gosh. Am I losing money when doing that, by the way? Yes, I, I am. Nope, nope, okay. nope, nope, we're not doing that anymore. I was worried. I was like, oh, I'm going to try and make that very easy, doable jump. But being on the same screen as the second player is going to pull me back. And instead, I lost us almost an entire stud's worth of money. That's okay. You know, we'll get it back. Luke, you don't understand. They cannot I stop us. Debts, <laughs> oh, this is where I crashed my land speeder. But I thought you said you drive. And I drink, I drive. <laughs> right, I'm the, the money comes first. Respect the grind, Luke. Will, it, will, it, will you stay on there if I'm... I think so. Like, it's giving me trouble getting in the seat, so I'm just, like, standing on this moving vehicle. <laughs> With the leg, it looks like you're going parasailing behind me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You're, like, floating like you're in Minecraft creative mode all while I'm just whipping <laughs> it across the sand dunes. Luke, you've unlocked the Force Hover Technique. Not even Master Yoda knows how to do that one. You are the son al Gaib, Luke. Come I... on, Luke, scrounge up every scrap of spare change you can get. Check between the seats. Empty out your bank accounts. There it there is. There we go. Beautiful. My alimony, I can finally pay it off. Yeah, we both drive. <laughs> there we go. The student has become the master. you learned the ways of Ryan Gosling, Luke. But thank goodness I've been locked out of my house for like an, at least a decade. You know how hard it is to find four people <laughs> just so I could get to the front door? It's not easy, Luke. You know the best part, Luke? We are an hour into this stream and we've only completed the second level. 
Oh, well. How does, how, how does that make you feel? Uh, I'm not so sure. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yep, yep, I figured. I can't believe we've gone this long without saying that. <laughs> Anyways, here. Right? Your father wanted you to have this. I want to shoot myself in the eye. Oh. Do not. Do not. Please be careful with that. You're going to take someone's head off. You know, you know, Alicus, you know what? You know what, buddy? I think you're right. Let's see. He just said time for level three. This is the level that's kind of like Peace Walker in the way that you can build your own metal gear and steal another metal gear. Holy crap, you're right. Oh, good job, Luke. It was excellent of you to hit that Jawa. Turn him into a statistic. Don't mind me, I'm just using my old man hobby of planting flowers in the middle of the street. It's totally fine. You know, for a barren desert planet, this sure is a- we've come across a lot of vegetation so far. That's kind of true, actually, yeah. Don't mess me with local casually law using the they force. won't mess with you. Me casually using the force in front of an Empire Trooper doesn't bat an eye. He's like, Jedi? I don't know what that is. We haven't been hunting those. Hey! You just had to you. say something, didn't you? <laughs> if he doesn't mess with us, we don't mess with him. Fair He's enough. coming out on his break. Ran right past us. Although someone... Okay, there's a stray bullet coming from somewhere. <laughs> and Luke just pulled a freaking Tom Clancy <laughs> dodge out the way. Sir, I was planting flowers and you shoot me? What do you mean you saw a weapon? The stormtroopers are going around planting lightsabers on people. <laughs> Great, the LA riots have started now. Fantastic. Okay, so I was talking with my brother the other day, and I was, uh, we got on the subject of Star Wars, and I said, I'm fully convinced that every Star Wars fan has this one no name Jedi, which of course they do have a name, of course, but like in the movies at least, they're a no name Jedi. But every Star Wars fan has one that they're like, they're fascinated by this guy, and they just love him. You no, know, regardless of what. So I'm curious, what is your uh, no-name Jedi that you're like? I really Kit like. Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. Yeah. Not even fair. a question. Kit Fisto. Mm. He Kiadi Mundi was another notable one because of um, he he went he went band for band with Grievous in the 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 Tartovsky Clone War series. True. But like, Kit Fisto is still to this day one of my favorite Jedi um, from a purely like aesthetic character design he's pretty great um, oh he's fantastic what about yours uh Plo Koon, for whatever reason that tracks look it. right over here this is the the kangaroo mouse the fremen call it the muadib <laughs> now luke you will take that name <laughs> you will lead these people to freedom <laughs> Ha ha, hey, hoo he ha, however the song goes. Alka said, so I was looking into how much a Lego character costs in real life when buying it in game. One stud costs $10.40, and Ghost Yoda, the most expensive character in game, cost 1,100,000 studs. So 101, sorry, 1,100,000 divided by 10.4 equals to a hundred and five dollars and ninety and seventy nine cents wow i can't get too excited about that because the last time people from south carolina got excited over how much people cost um, no it, it didn't end well where did you get the stud the dollar ratio i'm, very I'm just out of here hold on one stud is equal to ten dollars is the math right on that Yo, know, in that same vein, um, there's a well, there's a really good Lego game YouTuber um, called Rugged Eagle. Mm. Highly recommend his videos if you want like anything to do with any of the Lego games. But he recently did a video where he calculated how many studs you need in order to 100% each Lego game. Guess how much it costs to buy? I only remember how much how much it costs to buy every character um, in the complete saga. Okay. Lay it on me. Uh, if you if you had to guess, how much? Maybe about a million studs or so. Nope, it cost about a, somewhere around five million studs. Wow. Okay. That was Which sounds off. like a lot, but keep but keep in mind, like three million of those are just three characters with the ghosts. Wow. Also, do you know which Lego game has the single most expensive item you can buy? And how much it is. I do not. It is Lego Batman. Mm. 
and it is a hint you can buy. It costs four billion studs. Holy cow. Billion what? with a B. What kind of hint is this? It just says the end question mark. What? What a bunch of All garbage. <laughs> is a vague allusion to the fact there might be a sequel, which there did end up being a sequel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, but like four billion? My goodness. It's Metal Gear. I mean, maybe you can shoot it. <laughs> I Take don't that know. innocent civilians. Quick, steal the Metal Gears back. I don't trust this country, this Tatooine. They're trying to take our Metal Gears. Metal Gears are her God-given right. Every red-blooded American should have their own Metal Gear. That's good, he's saying the right things. <laughs> oh yeah, real quick, before we go any farther, uh, do you want to sell your land speeder? We're going to do a lot of backtracking for this. Now Luke, this is something I learned from Hustlers University. We are on that grind, we are going to sell your car. And oh my gosh, they even got this like the Saul Goodman used speeder salesman mm. on the billboard. Yes, yes, I assure you, the air conditioning definitely works on this thing. Cash in, I just got an achievement. Same. Heck yeah. And we got a whole bunch of money worth double the amount. I was gonna say, I wish that double score zones existed in real life, like you could go somewhere and your money is worth twice as much as it normally is, but That's then I remembered, country. like... Yeah, it's called Third World Countries. Remember how I talked about Bullseye and those Womp Ranch back in Beggar's Canyon? Yes, you won't shut up about it. R R2, there are... R2 is a selfish Three other jerk. buttons. Okay, fine, fine. You know what? I hope I hope they keep you outside the building. Oh, holy cow! Did you see that C3PO and R2 have like the top hat and the fake glasses? Yeah, they're doing the disguises. Oh, look at Oof. that Han shot first. Oh, guess what? Hold on, buddy. You you told me that. Did you shower first? Mm. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Keep telling me Star Wars facts. I've disarmed him, Luke. Oh gosh, you cut that guy into a million pieces. I'm out of here. But I had to finish the beer first, you know. Like, you wouldn't become an alcoholic if you saw your best friend got absolutely cut into gibbets by an old man. Fair. Very fair. Come on, Chewie. There's a government agent down there. He's gonna turn us in. Which, I mean, Come on, Chewie. Help me push this, explo this box full of explosives that I'm currently clipping into. And we shoot it. And that's the power of thermite, folks. What's playing at the theater? Lego Star, Star Wars. Wars. That'll never catch on. Instead of going to the premiere of Star Wars, we should go hide out in Hawaii because we have no faith in our own project. Still wild to me that, like, no one except for George Lucas thought Star Wars was a good idea. And then even he was like, oh, I don't know, the haters might be right. Don't let them get to you, George. We know your writing's bad. We still adore your project. Don't worry. <laughs> Somehow, George Lucas in a Hawaiian shirt is probably the most fitting image I've ever thought of him. Like, like it just seems like that just fits him. I mean, it's like that's like Hawaiian shirts and flannel shirts are like on opposite ends of the spectrum. And this is true. That's what George Lucas is known for. Oh no, they booted our car. We gotta, we gotta take out this snitch. I know. For stormtroopers, they're actually pretty good shots. I know, they keep killing us and we drop like $4,000 every time they do. Alright, there he is. This ugly anteater looking guy in a Sith hood. Alright, now we get We have destroyed, we have collected, I feel like, every single stud we could have possibly come across on this level. And we're not even close to getting True Jedi. Whatever, we took our anger out on him. Let's let's just get in the car and get out of here before the any more authorities show up. 3PO, Honestly. you okay? <laughs> you look like you're missing some limbs over there. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. Wait, hold on. There we go. Now he's the Black Knight. <laughs> I've had worse. You know, Tarkin was kind of a way bigger villain in that first movie than we give him credit for. He really was. Like, like he it was like was Vader like in was... charge. Right, I was gonna say, he was like in charge, but Vader was like the muscle, you know? Exactly, like, I don't know. Just interesting, that dynamic. Also, yeah, that planet exploded, and those guys are high-fiving back there. <laughs> Tarkin pointed and laughed at Leia. 
<laughs> it's like, imagine having remorse or human compassion over a planet that exploded and all the lives that were lost on it. Lol, couldn't be me. Hey man, they dropped unemployment down to zero. That was a net benefit. <laughs> oh no. What evil company could have possibly destroyed an entire planet? The Netflix HQ was right ahead of us. They heard everyone on Alderaan was sharing the same account. <laughs> and they blew up the whole darn thing. I want them all on separate accounts by the end of the day. Can you do that, Commander? Yes, sir. Of course I can. Great. Now we will make another video game adaptation and call it an anime. And it will be absolutely garbage, except for like one or two seasons. But make Cyberpunk Edge Runners like really good for no reason. And then don't give it a second season. <laughs> a me stealth mission on the Death Star immediately starts shooting everything. Oh absolutely. no, this really is Netflix HQ. Look, we destroyed the pipes and they're all filled with the LGBT agenda. The air itself is gay. These are the chemicals they put in the water to turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> Jedi Master Alex Jones was correct. I wonder if I can put Obi-Wan in a Stormtrooper helmet. Probably not, but I want to try still. Put everyone in a Stormtrooper helmet. Oh shoot, helmet. I can! Perfect, Absolutely. we're all in disguise. Luke, have I ever told you about the time I broke OSHA violations? Well, Luke, go ahead and put the Live Leak logo in the corner of this screen because we're going to... There's going to be a workplace-related accident today. You know, these guys are pretty they're pretty casual about the fact that we're lifting them up and dropping them like three feet. Right. Oh, sorry, three stories. <laughs> like, into some pit and casual. They're just like, lol, another day working with Darth Vader. He just decided that he didn't like us again, so. Uh, did you see that uh, TT1 through 3 got uh, dropped down another elevator shaft? Oh, wait, no, I'm about to get dropped down an elevator shaft. <laughs> Ben Kenobi, the reason you're running into the wall over there? Wait, hold, wait, 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 hold on. Where are you at, Austin? I am Ben Kenobi, and I'm trying to build this little ship over here. I don't know what's yeah, going on not, your screen. You're not even in the room on my... What, you, you teleported into the room! You were, like, stuck in the doorway, and then all of a sudden... We're now about to witness the birth of BB-8. <laughs> An astromech droid and a round object <laughs> gave birth to BB-8. I'm just saying. Go on without me, Luke. Don't be afraid, fear is the mind killer and whatnot. I swear, that is the last reference to Dune I'm going to do. Hey, that knife chip and shatter, Stormtrooper. Okay, are the levels actually, like... Are they really that much longer than the prequel levels, or do they just feel way longer than the prequel levels? I feel like the levels in these right here, I feel like they don't have as many, like, levels that you can get through quickly, not because of, like, distance or whatever, but I feel like the prequel levels with being like Clone Wars, it's like, oh, you have a couple of them where you're, you know, just flying in a ship. Like the whole first episode of the Attack of the Clones one, that one was That's just a breeze. It was just like done in a minute, you know? While as the first mission of this one, it's the whole ship and on the way to Alderaan, Vader invading, all that sort of stuff. So I don't think it's the fact that it's necessarily longer. I just feel like there were a couple shorter missions that were just tossed in with the prequels. Maybe, because like realistically, once we go up that elevator, we're in the detention block, the level is practically over at that point. Right. But it, we got, like, I don't know, just getting there feels much longer. Now we need a Stormtrooper helmet. Hey, uh, where, where, when did R2-D2 and C-3PO get off? I just realized they're not with us anymore. In the cutscene, funny enough, like, they both got into, like, an elevator. Oh, did they? Whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, that thing put a helmet on both of us at the same time. Alright, then. Oh, I don't remember this. I thought this section was in the next Death Star level. Ooh. I guess not, I do remember it now. Okay, I know we have to start blasting, but I really... What? Why the I door close? Okay, there we go. I think we just got All too right. close to it. It's kind of crazy they expect us to believe, like, these two guys, neither of which have any sort of military training. I guess Han Solo does, but, right. like, the fact that we just are just wiping out multiple sections, probably a platoon's worth of stormtroopers on the Death Star, and no one is the wiser for, like, a good, what, half an hour? Yeah. And we gotta go all the way back for oh our gosh. helmets. Oh boy, I love backtracking. Don't you love backtracking? You said it, kid. 
You know what? They seem pretty chill with us just right, right. Just, us just standing here. Can I just okay? No, oh, but it was too mind. good to last. The, they were the like, call "Hey, of the stop, money was too much." Stop breaking private property. We have another level. We're like, hold on, what's up here? This is the right way. Yes, this is the right way. So yes. Let's just backtrack. I think for this a sec. one leads to the double score zone. Well, 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 who'd have thought Netflix HQ had a whole bunch of dudes chilling in a hot tub together? None of them five feet apart. They, they seem pretty chill in. though. They seem Party fine though. to let us be. Yeah, we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna take our money and go. Give me that money, Sonny. Alright. We're all set. We got true Jedi. That's what this is all really about. Destroy the cameras. We don't want anyone. They're making a Netflix documentary about our lives now. Come on, I hear they have the straight women locked up in here. <laughs> We're not wasting time going to different cells. We just passed the 100 minute mark. We're mm. just going straight back to where Princess Leia's cell is. If we get this right the first time. Han, 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 come on. Yes, 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 Boom. yes. We did it. Okay, only, only three more hours to go. Where do we go? Oh, it's Netflix! Clearly they have a whole pile of trash somewhere. Here we go, into the trash chute. What'd I tell you, a pile of trash. Hey look, 13 Reasons Why is over there. I do not remember them doing this cutscene where they like go through the whole trash compactor sequence. Uh, but maybe it's because I like haven't played the story missions of this game in so long. I always do free mm. play. That's fair. All right, kid, we gotta get out of here. I'm not looking forward to this level because I remember that little tractor sequence where you gotta run over all the panels. You oh, thought gosh. Kamino was bad, just you wait. So like, in the movie, because I remember they, they change out of the Stormtrooper gear here. Yeah. And they're back to their normal clothes. Did Han Solo just like wear his vest under all that armor? I guess. Like, I'm like, guessing that that's... would not be the most uncomfortable thing in the world? Like, having it would be all like, those layers on? It would be like wearing a jacket, but you have, like, a long sleeve underneath, and the sleeves are, like, rolled up. That's what that would feel like. But, yeah, it's like, Han, why don't you just take the vest off? He's like, listen, kid, I'm never taking this vest off. Never. For the sake of fashion, kid, you and your little bathrobe wouldn't understand also wow we ran we we collected that thing super easy and didn't have to spend 45 minutes running the tractor over it now i'll go across get the money i thought for sure one of us was going to knock the other one off. is that platform even hanging on to anything i i don't think it is I, I think it's just floating in the air check this out i'd learned this in a spielberg film don't worry guys the next thing we're streaming is lego indiana jones are we now? Absolutely not. <laughs> Real talk though, because we are kind of getting close to the end of this Lego Star Wars um, series. What right. should the, what like if we if we did stream another Lego game, what would it be? I mean, there's so many good ones. Like if we want to, we could do the Lego Star Wars uh, Clone Wars. You know, Lego Star Wars Three. I guess. Wars, that is an underrated Lego game. It really is. That one's fantastic. Um, Lego Indiana Jones actually, in my opinion, is a really great one. And I have like a lot of nostalgia and memory for the first Lego Batman as well. Oh, Lego but... Batman, absolutely. You know what, that, that might be it. You know what I think the best Lego game is out of all of them? I think Lego Lord of the Rings. I think that's a very good and very underrated Lego game. So, funny story, I've actually never played through Lego Lord of the Rings at all. You've never played through Lego Lord of the Rings? Mm -mm. Wow. Funny enough, I've played some more obscure ones like Lego Pirates of the Caribbean and everything, but I've never played through Lego Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. And the weird thing is, I have copies of them. I've just never gotten around to doing that. You have copies of the games and have never played it? Yeah, no, we're de e even if it's not, even if we don't stream the entire game, we're going to play Lego Lord of the Rings just so you can try it out. Okay, bet. You know, as much as I was talking about um, these levels feeling like they take forever, I feel like we're getting through this one pretty fast, actually. Yeah, I think we are. I don't know if we've done as well with, like, the whole true Jedi thing, but we have absolutely kind of picked up the pace. You know, I haven't even checked true Jedi, and then you just had to say that, and now my good mood is ruined. Thanks, Austin. Are you kidding me? We have to go back for another Stormtrooper helmet! Leia, move. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> we're getting through this. 
We're, we're, I'm, kill him, kill, no, 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 What, what the? I don't know. There's the third one, okay. Alright. Can you imagine if this game had, like, a life system? Or, like, mm. whenever you died, you had to, like, go back um, to, like, Ooh. a certain checkpoint or something? No. Wouldn't that just be miserable? I'm even building the door faster. That's how quickly I want to be out of here. Go, Ben. Fight off the CEO of Netflix. You can do it. There we Dude, go. Dude, I think okay. we're going to get it. We just got True Jedi. Oh, did we? It didn't show up on my yeah. screen. Nice. Yeah, no, we got it. Now we just need to... I can't even remember what to do in this section. And out of, like, the floor shield thingy, I think. Hold on, I'm spinning like a mother right now. Go, Han Solo. Oh. I think this one, and then we gotta push that box. Yeah, I was referring to, like, if there was a life system in this game, how awful that would be. Just because you die, like, realistically, this game, you die a lot. This game is a lot harder than people give it credit for. You only got four hits before you die. The enemies have aimbot on. True. All right, it's time for the tractor section. Farm boy, you've got this. Are you kidding me? Oh, what? The game, it literally looked like it took this little speeder, lifted it one inch off the ground so it wouldn't work, and then sit you back down. We're fine, we're fine. We're gonna, we're gonna get this. Okay, here, I, I got a plan. Okay, you start on that side. <laughs> I'm gonna start on this side. Please, quit. This is not the time to prove that you're Vin Diesel. Dude, this thing handles like a piece of soap in a bathtub, okay? Oh, that's right, there is, isn't there? Okay. I I hit every single one of those. You cannot tell me that I didn't hit every single thing there. Let me get lined up, and then we'll right. both try to run through it at the same time. Okay, now, go. There we go. Fantastic. Wow. How is that even possible in single player? Activate this one. That's the last thing. We have officially hit the two hour mark on the stream. This is the longest I think we have ever streamed before. I think you're um, right. Shinji getting the Falcon. We're out of here. Hey, I've got one more Dune reference to make. Are you okay with that? Dude, shut up about Dune! It's not even on our streaming service. We've got exactly one more level to complete. Whew. That's All it. Right. We're almost at the finish line, and it's not even... Why, where is the continue story option on my screen? There it is. Oh boy, we still got Empire and Return of the Jedi after this. Yeah. I do, yeah. I do not like the original trilogy levels. <laughs> really? I like them, I just don't like the idea of trying to fit them within a streaming schedule, to be honest. Because they do take a little bit longer. The fact that that missile just took like a 90 degree dive is pretty impressive. Oh no, man. I've, I've run out of commentary at this point, at least for the cutscenes. Mm. I've run out of stuff to say, but I gotta say something or else there's gonna be no cutscenes in the video. Alright, I'm the X axis, you're the Z axis. Wait, that's not right. I'm the X axis, you're the Y. Shit, you know what? You know what? Let's just finish this level. I've gone insane at this point. You know what my favorite part about this level is? The fact that literally everything is the exact same color of gray and I can barely make out right. the difference between anything on the screen right now. That's that's easily my favorite part too. It's just like, ah, who needs specific detail and to be able to see things? Not me. Honestly, just thinking about this, like, this would be like pretty strange for a stormtrooper. It's like, you're part of the Galactic Empire, you built this giant piss-off like space station and then it's like you think you're never going to get an attack you think this is like an easy job that you're never going to see action or whatever that your entire thing is just to be flipping switches and then one day a bunch of rebels just show up with a few fighters and they're like screw you we're gonna attack like they were probably thinking this is like ridiculous you know right? that's a that's a good point like yeah how many i'm i'm curious I bet you could look back and see, like, there, there could not have been more than maybe 10 Rebel Starfighters in that entire... Right? Um, 
that entire sequence. But then to be fair, like what, all but maybe three pilots survived. It was like Luke, Han. Wedge Antilles, and then Han showed up. Like Han was an addition to the battle. Yes, Alcus, it is time to take out Netflix HQ. They will pay for what they did to the Avatar Last Airbender live action. They will pay for what they've done to just... Remember, remember back when streaming, when like Netflix came out and we thought, oh, a streaming service? This is going to do away with cable because like you can just stream stuff and it's a way cheaper alternative. Now there are like more streaming services than there are channels mm -hmm. on cable TV. And the funniest thing, I think Netflix is arguably like the most... Um, like it's got the most name recognition, but like I don't know how popular Netflix really is nowadays compared to something like Max or um, Amazon Prime. Well, definitely that's... not Peacock or Pluto. Like, what the heck even are those? I have no idea. Then there's like ones like Tubi as well. Now you know the real best streaming service out there Dude, is my... the Daily Wire streaming service. <laughs> The super far right Republican one with like the bluey ripoff. That's oh, the ideal one. Pilots, we must stop Ben Shapiro from destroying Netflix. He will destroy <laughs> our liberal streaming service with facts and logic. Hey, Netflix, you're irrelevant now. Uh, Netflix, you are completely irrelevant. Uh, and right. no one even wants to. No one, no one wants to watch your shows. They want to watch it. I don't even know like what's a sh like Stranger Things is like the last big Netflix show I remember watching and like thinking that was really good. Also, did we destroy one of the Tie Fighters following Vader? We might have actually. We destroyed the second one. Man, you know what? Maybe maybe the Republicans are onto something. Maybe facts and logic really can destroy the Death Star. Okay, we're almost to the end. We're almost yes. Okay. There we go. I know we still have to like actually shoot. Where did those TIE Fighters come from? We destroyed them already. Vader called in his other buddies. He was like, yo, no I can't show and logics will not stop me. <laughs> right. The truth of the matter is I had more TIE Fighters. How's that, Ben Shapiro? I'll tell you what, though. There's no way in hell I'm destroying this Death Star in the name of the Daily Wire. <laughs> we got to find another streaming service right. to be a part of. Chico says he has to go for dinner, but much success in taking out Netflix. And to send in a hey, you want You want to watch me take out Netflix? Here, there goes Netflix. See you, Chico. All right, see you, Netflix. Now, launch another season of Euphoria. Oh, oh wait, hold on. That's H Sir, that's HBO Max. That's not Netflix. What? Oh, no. <laughs> the streaming service. The streams are crossed. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Well, I did not like the way Luke looked there when he, like, sat back in his X-Wing. <laughs> Legs spread apart with, like, the little control panel sticking up. It did not look Ooh. like the control stick. That's all I'll say. Oh, no. A New Hope. I just got... Apparently, I've never beaten A New Hope on this Xbox before. It just gave me an achievement <laughs> for it. You ready to finish this thing? Let's do it. I know I am. It's 12, 30. It's time for me to eat. Luke put on some actual clothes instead of his pajamas for the right. first time. He's like, it's a... Oh, the snitch! Ceremony. It's the uh, snitch! The snitch. Brave heroes for stopping the evils of streaming services. I hereby award you for the PS2 game that's kind of gay droids. <laughs> Here's a PS2 game that hasn't been in circulation for years. They could easily re-release it, but they choose not to. We've beaten the evil. Well, that's it. We did it. We we, we have done it. Net How did the Netflix joke even start? I I don't know, man. I don't I, even remember. I forget it's been now. So <laughs> We've been playing this for so long. Oh my gosh, guys! We'll see you in the next stream. Bye bye.